um, I just wanted to follow up on doing one of the uh, new Enlight sensors. Um, I've been on the old ones for a while and they were okay, very interesting using continuous glucose monitoring but the, the previous model, which is the original model that had actually been around for about 10 years, has been significantly upgraded. Uh, the point being it's much, much easier to put in. There's no visibility of big scary needles. Um, I mean the big scary needle that they used to have before, it did a good job, it didn't really hurt that much. Um, but it did, it was kind of a big needle. <laughs> this is all invisible. Everything's got a lot smaller in the sensor itself. The, the, the probe that goes inside you is about half the width and half the depth. So it's not as big an item in your body. But what they've also done is really beefed up on the adhering tabs on the outside. So when the thing's on, it stays on. I mean, and I've given it some fairly, you know, good run for its money and it does stay on. And that is such a relief because there's nothing worse than putting the thing on and then for some reason either you get too sweaty or, you know, you're just moving about too much and the thing comes out. I'm going to put this on my front because it's easy to show you how to do that. Um, but you don't have to. One of the benefits of this arrangement is you can actually start putting it other places that you wouldn't normally put it. Um, or that you wouldn't have put it with the old mechanism because it was less easy to have that choice of, of you needed to get the angle right and it was just a little bit more complicated. Um, and the good thing about being able to put it on other places, it's not just that it relieves sort of the front belly part of you where you're always sticking your, your infusion sets, um, but it also means it's not actually in your sort of crease zone and crumple zone, so it's less, you know, it might be getting a bit, a bit less um, jiggery, jiggering about. So, the way it works is this. It is very, very simple. Peel that open. Oh, I should have had a prop for this, but I haven't. Um, fundamentally, that is meant to be... How can I improvise? I have something to improvise. Flat on something. You press it down. You then keep your fingers on the little prongs. And this all just comes out, it's marvellous, that is just all does half the thinking you need to do, or you did have to do before. Already, that is the pressing bit, the big green, lime green button, not the top, that's a design feature. Um, and you can't do anything to it. So this is the bit. Um, the front of the unit corresponds to the front of the sensor, if you consider that the transmitter is the back that is about to go on. So, find a useful place to put it. Just for ease of use, I'm just going to bung it right on the front. I'll put it right to the side. So, you don't really have to brace yourself as much as I. I used to have to brace myself a bit for the last one, but anyway. Press, let go, you can feel it banging in. Then you just wait a minute or two, because there is, not a minute, a few seconds, um, there's an adhesive patch on the bottom, plus you want to make sure that the probe's gone in properly. Then you press that again to come up, really easy, and you hold the front of the sensor flat and just pull. Now that, no needle, you just simply you actually can't see the needle. You, I mean, I don't, I don't think you can see it if you tried. It also retracts, so you can do what you like with that, and it's absolutely fine. So, the thing you need to do now is you're going to pull the bottom tab there so that the adhesive pad goes flat. That'll This tag goes back. What you also do now is put on your transmitter, which I have just charged, so that should be alright. You have to wait to see the little green button going off. That's marvellous. Um, I was actually given, and I've not got it handy, an extra adhesive patch which does go on here. Now this is to go over the top for even more adhesion. You, I think you're supposed to have done it before you put the um, transmitter on, so I'll take that off. That's quite easily done. Pop it over there, sort of under the sensor, but over the front. That's just a bit more adhesion. All good, all good. I've done the neatest job of that because I didn't have it ready. 
so that goes back on there hopefully that will uh, that might not go green again because it's uh, yeah there it is then you pull up this last tag put it over the top and that is really really wonderfully in place it's marvellous